Joel Myers alongside Isaiah Thomas. We're joined by the general manager, Ernie Grenfeld, of the Washington Wizards. Uh, not only a good start uh, to summer league, but a nice start before the hamstring injury for Otto Porter. Well, Otto's a solid player. He's a rookie. It's a process for everybody. He's just learning the pace of the game, the, the speed of everything, terminology, our concepts. And uh, it's too bad he got hurt because it's an important time for any young player. Yes. Ernie, when you look at the team that you're building, you know, you got, you got Bill in the backcourt, you got Wall in the backcourt. Uh, talk, to, talk to us a little bit about those two guys and how excited you are about having them finally get a chance and an opportunity to maybe play extended games together. Well, they're both very young players. Obviously, John is 22 and Bradley just turned 20. And they've both had a lot of success already. And we're building things around them. And when we got John a couple of years ago, obviously he's a very fast player, makes people around him better. And when the two of them were together along with Nene, we had a 15 and seven record. Unfortunately, we couldn't keep them together longer than that. But uh, I think they complement each other, those two players very well. John pushes the ball. He gets easy opportunities. He can penetrate. He dishes the ball. And Bradley's an outstanding shooter. And he's also a good defender, very solid all-around player. So we're very excited about the, the future of those two players together. When you talk about Bradley being a good defender, you got another guy out here on the floor tonight, uh, this afternoon, in Singleton, who's one of the top defenders uh, that our league recognizes. But right now, he's putting on, uh, showing a little bit of his offensive display. How happy are, are you and have you guys uh, you know, told him that he needs to work on his offensive game and his shooting a little bit. Well, obviously we have. You know, we want our young players to, to work on everything. And he is a very good defender. He's a good rebounder. And we'd like to see him make that outside shot consistently. Uh, the other night we saw him make some plays. He had five assists last game along with 10, 10 rebounds. And uh, he's developing. He's getting a little bit better. Obviously he can play both the small forward and the power forward. And the game is going smaller. So if he can play a stretch four sort of position for us, that would be helpful, but uh, we're, we're glad with his progress, and we are building a foundation of good, solid defense. Last year, we had one of the best defensive teams in the league. Uh, we were number eight in the league, and uh, that's the foundation we want to continue to build on, and obviously, we have to get better on the offensive end now. Now, you say the league, uh, you know, is going smaller. We have some teams, though, that are getting bigger, like, you know, you look at a Chicago, you look at a New York, who are getting more physical. Uh, where do you think the league will, will end up in terms of style of play? Do you think it stays small ball like Miami? Or do you think it's somewhere in the middle? Or do you think it goes back to the days where you and I were playing where it was just, you know, big basketball? Well, you know, that's a good question. It, it, it always goes back and forth. I think it's a copycat league. Uh, teams usually try to do what the champions do. Right now, you have to match up against Miami, but now Indiana's also a threat, and they're a much bigger team, and you, you have to be able to show both looks, I think. You know, if you want to compete at a high level in this league, you have to be able to have some big guys, but sometimes you have to match up with some perimeter players also. This has got to help you. This is where experience comes in. You, you've been doing this for a very long time. You've had big teams. Now you're building, you know, uh, you've seen the league go in transition. You've weathered some tough times uh, in Washington. Talk to us about those experiences in terms of the good and the bad, weathering the storm, staying with your game plan, and, and having, a, having an owner and a management that sticks with you also. Well, obviously, the good is always much better. When you're, <laughs> <laughs> when you're winning, it makes everything a lot easier. But we had a plan with our new owner, Ted Leone, which has been extremely supportive of what we're trying to do. Uh, he came aboard and said we want to build. We want to rebuild. We want to get a new fresh start and that's what we've tried to do. Uh, we rebuilt through the draft. We've gotten some younger players that we can build with and at the same time we used some of our young assets to get some veterans now in this past year. We were able to add, add Nene and uh, Emeka Okafer, Trevor Ariza. We signed Martel Webster. I think to win in this league you have to have a combination of youth and some experienced players and I think we're starting to go in that direction now. Uh, last year at the end of the year, we were a very competitive ball club once we got John back. Uh, this was the third year of our rebuild last year, and we feel like if we had all our pieces together for the whole season, uh, we could have competed for one of those playoff spots. Unfortunately, we didn't, and this year our goal is absolutely to be a playoff team. I think our young guys have developed. Obviously, John and Bradley have shown some real good signs, and with Nene and Ameka, we have some good 
power on the inside, yeah. some good rebounding and real good solid defense. So we got to put the whole thing together, but I think our foundation is really going to be on that defensive end, continue to be a good defensive team, and then try to push the ball and get some easy opportunities on offense because you have to be able to use the talent at hand. And obviously when you get a player like John Wall with his speed and his ability to create for his teammates, uh, you have to try to take advantage of that.